Hi, I'm Larry Dignan with Constellation Insights, and we're here with Jaime Zapata. He's from Ring Container Technologies Corp, and he is a supernova finalist. Congratulations, Jaime. Thank you very much. So let's just start high level. Walk me through what Ring does and the project overall. Certainly. Ring Container Technologies is a privately held multinational corporation headquartered in Oakland, Tennessee. And we focus on manufacturing faster, lighter, and stronger packaging solutions for the food industry, some agricultural applications, and pet care. Um, so if you've ever bought a jar of peanut butter at the supermarket, if you turn it over on the bottom of the jar, there should be a ring logo. If there isn't, you're buying the wrong peanut butter. Nice. Well, I, I, I eat a lot of peanut butter, so I think we're probably good there. So walk me through the project. What problems were you trying to solve? And, you know, how did you wind up using Infor to kind of solve some of your issues? Yeah. So the problem is there are times when our customers call for a proof of delivery. In essence, when our truckloads are picked up by the carriers, we have a bill of lading document that the truck driver signs taking ownership of the goods. So there are times when we have to provide the signed document to our customers, um, either our customer service group, sometimes even the finance team has to do that when there are disputes regarding invoices. The problem was that we have 20 different shipping sites throughout the world and each shipping site would sometimes do things a little differently. These signed bill of lading documents were sometimes stored in a file cabinet. Sometimes they were stored in a box. Some of our shipping sites were scanning them to a PDF file and storing them on a user's laptop. At one site, we discovered that one of our users was using their personal phone to take pictures of the signed documents. So when it was time to provide our customer with this signed bill of lading, we would have to go to multiple different places and try to find this document. So we asked them for, is there a way that we can capture that signed document and have it linked directly in the M4 ERP with the corresponding transaction, that is the sales order that originated that shipment. And that is how we managed to solve this with M4. They found a way for us to do all that using robotic process automation. So how much process work did you have to do in terms of fact finding and, you know, figuring out the different ways this process was being handled? That was probably the most challenging piece is, is trying to gather everybody together and understand what we were doing. You think you know what you're doing, but you sometimes don't know. And then, once we understood how the process was different at each site, we had to develop a way for each of the sites to somehow standardize their workflow. We didn't want to disrupt their workday. We wanted for it to be as minimally intrusive to our end users as possible. So the sites that were already scanning to a digital file they were the easiest ones because all we had to do was just retrieve those digital files from a shared directory at sites where they're not necessarily capturing a digital copy it, it was either we began by having them email the copy and eventually we worked towards storing the copy on a shared directory so the rpa process could retrieve those files now did you look at other rpa vendors or were you looking for something that integrated with your erp system we did not look at other rpa vendors even though there were there's a, there was at least one other one that contacted us while we already had the project underway what we did search for was vendors that provided capture of an electronic signature and we looked at some of their solutions but it was too cumbersome for our end users and it involved the truck drivers to have to deal with the digital copies and well the truck driver signs the piece of paper and they leave and we didn't want to have to disturb them any more than necessary also because it would just it could create bottlenecks 
with our shipping processes. So have you been able to standardize and automate this process? At this point, we have found a way that is easily reproducible at our shipping sites. Again, the only thing that we now require is that our end users scan the, the signed documents to a PDF file. And not every site has the same scanning device. So that's probably the only deviation. But we've basically narrowed it down to scanning the signed document to a shared directory and the M4RPA processes then query those directories and they parse the PDF file, extract the necessary data and link that document to the corresponding transaction in the M4ERP. So was this process in terms of returns, was it more about time savings or money or both? It was probably more about time savings. I don't necessarily get to look at all the numbers myself with respect to dollar figures and salaries and so forth. But the time savings was in the fact that our users were no longer having to deal with minutia and instead were concentrating on manufacturing product for our customers. We're already a pretty lean enterprise, so we don't have a whole lot of users doing a lot of the work. So it, anytime that our users are distracted from manufacturing packaging solutions, it it's costly because we're, we're having to, you know, our users are having to not make bottles as opposed to that's what they're there for to make bottles. Okay. What process are you looking at other processes and, and where RPA can come in handy? Yes, we, we've been trying to find a way for RPA to probably automate payables. We still receive a lot of invoices via email and they may or may not contain an attached PDF of the invoice. So that's, that's one challenge that we've got, you know, for the future to resolve. And another challenge is we're hoping RPA can help us to integrate data collected from processes external to the ERP. Oh, okay. So you're planning on broadening this out to other processes that may or not may not be touched to M4? That's correct. Hopefully we can use the M4 RPA solutions to integrate non-M4 processes and uh, send data to the ERP. All right. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure.